right, so it's the first drive of the first day. Not here, it's gonna be tricky shooting because we've got a hill right here. By the time they're on you, they're gonna be on you fast. So yeah, yeah. Be fun shooting right here. Yeah. Here we have one. There we go. See if they make it down the line here. Ooh. Center punched. There we go. Nice shot. Incoming. What a hoot, huh? What a hoot. Here we have one. That one's dead as a duck. That was fun. Yeah. A little burst. Here we go. Nice shot. A few birds out of that, huh? Good little warm up. Fun. It's fun, fun, fun. Featuring the style and traditions of the old world and the gorgeous landscape of eastern Idaho, Blixton Company was just a short drive away in the Ram for myself and my son, Luke. Wow, what a stunning location, huh? So this is supposedly the real deal. This is like the first true driven bird hunt experience in North America. Blixton Company has been doing this now for almost 10 years. I've been hearing a lot about it, but nobody's really pulled off a true authentic driven shoot. But it sounds like these guys have. Yeah. So I can't wait to check it out. Are you just a little bit excited about seeing Dash? Well, I want to see Dash so badly. <laughs> she's probably picking up birds left and right. Tell you what, she's going to be a whiz bang by the end of this season. Uh, welcome to, um, to Twin Peaks. This is, to my knowledge, the only place in North America where you can shoot ribbon red-legged partridge. Oh. So, ladies first. Right here. Oh. Five. So the way this starts is everybody pulls a peg that's got a number on it, and that's the first stand. We have, we have a couple you met. David. David Chris. This is Luke. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, here we go. There's Dash. Is that Dash right there? That's Dash. Should I go get with Dash? Yeah, that'll be fun. Our dog is being trained, so he wanted to come and work with the dog. Okay, nice. That's yeah. awesome. Last time I saw her, she was this little puppy, and she was just doing little puppy things, and now she's just this wonderful hunting dog. Dash is uh, about a year and a half old. She spent about six or seven months in our kennel in Oxford, Mississippi. I picked her up in June in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and I've been working with her pretty much every day till up till today. Good sit. Watch. There we go. Here we go, yeah. And nice. When it comes to the way that we present the birds, it's very much a European style of driven shooting. I mean, it's basically where the beaters are driving the birds towards a standing gun line. You little coward. You're certainly more shooting than, than hunting them. There we go, nice shot. You gotta get out in front of those birds out there. Yeah, there are ways out there. There goes Dash. Yeah, here. Here, call to you, call to you. Ah, dead, dead. Good, take it. He's a red-legged partridge he brings in from France. Oh, they hatch him here raise them here, and then release them out here, and they can scoop. Ah. I gotta catch up to these things. Oh, we'll see you later. I've enjoyed driven shoots from the wild bushveld of Africa, where guinea fowl can sometimes darken the sky as enormous flocks erupt from cover. Nice shooting, well done. To the British Isles, where the sport originated, in between, driven birds in Hungary, Denmark, and Spain have caught my fancy. And the Spanish red-legged partridge, the same birds we're shooting here in Idaho, are among the world's sportiest game birds. Here we go. It's a longer lead. It's amazing how far you gotta get ahead of these birds. Look at how high that bird is. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, nice. Oof. That's crack shot. Fud. Picking up. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Of course, he is 20 feet closer. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the audio portion of our tour. Thank you for coming. And don't forget to tip your waiter. That was fun. That was fun. We're going to walk up to the tree line until we're lost. Mm -hmm. Take it off. Lost. 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 Lost bird. They've trained her to fetch, come, 
left, right, say no to something, go on something else, or say no to that, say no to that, and then come back to that. Oh, it's here. very cool that she knows what that means because it's okay. almost like she can speak English here. at this point. Look what she got. Good girl. Can I call her to you? Here. Dead. There you go. Good. There you go. Tighten it. Good job, bud. That's sweeping right there, bud. Woo. I've always been a little bit skeptical when people advertise in the U.S. that they're doing driven shoots because so much of what I've seen is really just release birds that are kind of pushed over something. But it's not a true European get beaters out there, push the cover, bring the birds at full speed over the guns kind of a deal. This is. I mean, Lars brought his, his expertise from Europe. He's doing a magnificent job out of here. But I think what really works here is this terrain is just ideal. He's got perfect undulation. And we've had incredibly tough shots. We've had some easier shots, but all have been really sporty. And, and even when it's close range shooting, it's super fast presentation, which is really sporty as well. We have been here at River Rim and the Overlook Lodge now for the past uh, three years. We see this as we, we present an experience rather than that you're buying shooting. So we're very fortunate to be able to be here. I think he's done a magnificent job. And then everything else is taken care of. You know, you got a stunning lodge, amazing food. It's really in close proximity where you're staying to where you're shooting. The shooting itself, quite frankly, is as good as any place in the world right here. One more. Over top, Chris. Nice shooting, Chris. Here we have one. Oof. Pick it up. Even though we're on the end of the line, which is unusual, normally the best shooting is, is the center of the line, which is why they set up the line that way. But this just happened to work out. We had bird after bird after bird. We had right to left. We had incoming. Whew. Wow. <laughs> this fast. Fair catch. Mister Dad. There you go. Out of bay. There we go. Lord have mercy. That yeah. Was a, that was a shoot and a half. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Man, oh man, that was hot. And Dash got a lot of work in the pond, which was fantastic. Good. Nice and hot right now. Really good stuff. Dash. Good. 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 Good girl. So we were doing a sweep for the end of the birds and we saw that somebody clipped one on near the end of the line and it flew over and went into a pond. Back. I said back, left, right, whatever she needed to do. And she got that yeah. bird without no sight of where it was. And it was very amazing. You got a great teacher, Lou. You got a great teacher. Man. You want a job? How awesome is that, huh? It was a good training moment for me, and it was a good, good hunting moment for Dash. He worked her exactly how he's supposed to. In my opinion, that was my highlight of the day, seeing how he took my instructions and just went with it. And he did great, man. That was it was really awesome to see. It was just fabulous to see a father and son sharing this moment together and seeing Luke's passion for his dog and to, to sort of learn more about the dog handling and the picking up. It's invaluable for a dog growing up. Or top. This is not like driven shooting. This is driven shooting. So we're going to try to make this the most authentic driven shoot that you can do in North America and South America. And we think the dogs are such a great part of the, the magistry of the whole operation. So the beaters, the loaders, the guns, the shooting, the game fair, the, the cuisine, the dogs are part of the entertainment. It was just astonishing how much she's come from the day she was a puppy to now. And the day she was a puppy, she was peeing on the rug. Now she's retrieving birds and one of the best dogs I could ever hope for. So for me to shoot some birds, turn around and watch him work on the dog, and Dash is just a little Ferrari. I mean, she's an amazing little dog. So to see what she can become with great training and lots of work, lots of bird work out here, it's gonna be fun in a couple of years. 
The past, present, and future have collided in these Idaho canyons as we enjoyed a tradition stretching back hundreds of years while training our four-legged companion for a lifetime of shared adventures. We honor the history of our sport as we pass the baton to the next generation of hunters.